23 hours we have been in Penang and then we had to strategize all our time properly because we had enough time just to do everything. Five minutes of ferry will leave, so we have to make a run for it. The recommendation of our friends we have detoured uh, now we are taking a ferry to Penang for one day the ferries are out there and we'll spend a night and two days in Penang and then be back in Langkawi because a flight back to India is from Langkawi so let's see what all we can do in one day reach Penang and right now just from walking from the uh, ferry terminal to the hostel you can see all the buildings here they are like all the colonial era buildings and most of the Penang uh, there's a a small area called Georgetown where most of the buildings are like UNESCO World Heritage Site buildings it's almost like 100 150 years old built uh, in the colonial era over here so most of the street is styled in that way that's the dormitory we are staying in in the wonder food museum right now they are showing all the different food types in malaysia so uh, malaysia is a blend of a lot of cultures like indian chinese and then like south indian and there's a lot of seafood mix there's banana leaf food and so then this like wonder food museum is dedicated to the mix of culture on the most basic primal thing which is food whole city down there oh, we are at the Keklok Sea temple or Keklok Sea pagoda and above the temple over here there's a temple of 10,000 Buddhas down there is Kin, Yuan Kin which is the goddess of mercy and it is a huge remarkable statue but right now we are not allowed to go there going to catch the sunrise at Penang Hill we are at the Penang Hill right now to see the sunrise. That is the tram that's going to take us all the way up to the Penang Hill. You can see the sunrise times on uh, Penang Hill on the website they have. They put the sunrise timings every day morning so tourists can come and see the sunrise. The first tram goes up by the sunrise. We are on top of the Penang Hill towards the sunrise over the city. This is supposed to be the view of all of the Penang city, but the clouds have taken over. Penang, the Georgetown is most famous for its street art so uh, you can like get a tour for seeing all the street art or you can just stroll around and see everything like in like every few steps you can see some art there's a cat drawn over there and then as I keep walking now this is the there's a famous painting of a boy street art over there normally in Penang the only thing people complain about is the humidity and the number of tourists around and right now we are here in the monsoon season so we are not getting any tourists around like we have the roads all to ourselves and it's not humid it's pretty pleasant it's just drizzling a little bit but it's uh, I would like choose this any day uh, over humidity and a lot of people 
So right now we are getting a tour from a local guide. He's explaining about all the heritage sites around and the history and showing us the street art. Like this, because the street art is hidden everywhere. Hard for us to find for the first time. Yeah, because the picture is not only in one street, they are about include one small village big. That's yeah. a problem. Many pictures they are hiding in the small lane. So very difficult to find it. This street is the Armenian street. Every house here is more than 100 years old. And they have like big occasions around Austria, like for Armenian festivals. And there's street art like all around here. A lot of street art. So right now we are having vegetarian laksa. Laksa is famous because it is like normally uh, soupy noodles with seafood. But I don't know what, what, what does vegetarian laksa have, but I'm just going to try it. It's very famous Malay food. Uh, this is the area of clan jetties or jetties by the bay where you can eat while seeing the sunset. Uh, now that it was raining today, we didn't come here for the sunset, but we just came out in the night to check out the place. It's really beautiful, like there are small boats over your fishing boats and everything. And there's like a row of houses down there and uh, everyone's selling some tourist stuff or some food. We are at Koo County right now. So every Hokkien person whose surname is Koo, their clan originated from here. And they settled in like uh, Singapore, Malaysia and many other countries. You can just go back to this plan. This is kind of a temple because praying to ancestors is a big part of the Chinese culture. And over here, you can track back your ancestors to almost 48 generations, which is almost like 800 years ago. So it's really cool for the people who have one of these surnames and it's uh, in this temple like Cool, Lim, Chew, and everything. Walking through the streets of Penang is like playing a game when you were a kid. You have to spot some anomaly in the picture, like a small thing like that. Like the street art over here can be in an alley, behind a pillar, inside a shop, on the storefront, anywhere. So it's like be on the lookout always. Like, see, right now in this. Ali, there's this art. We spent a lot of time at the places we like, like K Kloxi Temple, we were there for almost 3-4 hours. Then we were like walking around Georgetown for 4-5 to five hours. And then the things that we didn't like, like 3D Art Museum wasn't that great, so we just spent like 20 minutes in there. So I think we got the best of Penang in like just one day, by doing the things we like the most. And just touching on the things that we think we might not have liked. But the best thing in Penang is the Penang the K Kloxi Temple and walking around Georgetown are the highlights. It was like amazing 24 hours, just enough that we almost missed our ferry back and we just came in time to catch a ferry back to Lankavi. Penang was awesome.